So there's sort of a, an idea that um, it makes infectious disease doctors sweat a little bit. And so if you can think of like a graph on sort of the, the x-axis or the bottom axis, you think about that's how easy it is for a virus to spread. And then sort of on the y-axis or the vertical axis, that's how deadly it is. And so you know, you have things like the flu virus who, you know, is maybe a third of the way up the, the vertical axis, really kind of far over on the, the how easy it is to transmit. COVID is several steps past influenza as far as how easy it is to infect people, especially sort of the new variants. It got better at sort of infecting people. So one, COVID is much more infectious. Because it's much more infectious, um, we had a lot more community spread. So if, for instance, 20% of your population is you know, infected, one in five people that you run across on the street probably have the virus and are potentially putting you at risk. So for COVID, we started off with a ton of community spread, so you just had more opportunities to meet someone who had the COVID virus. Influenza, when it sort of hit at that time, it sort of wasn't really rampant in our communities yet. And so it never really got a chance to get a foothold to raise the level of community spread to sort of make it more common in the population. The next thing, masks. Masks work. They work really well. Um, and so everyone walking around last winter with masks on does a really good job of preventing the flu. So I don't wear N95s or anything like that. When I go see a patient in the hospital with influenza, I wear a mask just like this because it prevents the spread.